Hi, English Nomad here and this is episode number 28 and in this episode I'm going to be discussing the uh, method I'm using to assemble the framework for the furniture in the camper you can see behind me. Now I've opted for a product which is widely available in Australia and the rest of the world it's sold everywhere. It's, um, it's a system that goes by the name of Q-Block here in Australia. It's also known under the product name Connect It um, through the chain Bunnings, which is like our DIY superstores. And uh, it's readily available. It's a lightweight aluminium extruded box section, um, one inch square. And um, it's got a wall thickness of 1.2 millimeters. Um, and it's joined together using these joiners and they come in all different sorts so you have like this one which is a two-sided one for corners you've got another corner one which is three-sided so as you can see it just slips into there another tube will come off here and another tube will come off here you have one like this which is a five-sided one they do a six-sided one they do a four-sided one like this and they do another three-sided one which is like a T. And what that means is it's a very versatile system for building uh, framework. Uh, because once you cut your aluminium to length, and I use the, uh, the Makita miter saw here for doing it. I bought a special aluminium um, blade which cuts through this like a hot knife through butter. And I set up a, a backstop on the saw so that if I would need to cut 20 at 300 mil like this one, I can set up my backstop and cut all 20 in one go and every single one will be exactly the same length. So say for example the cross members on the furniture, they're all the same length. So I cut, work out how many I need and then cut them all to length. And assembly is very, very easy. So, um, so basically you take your fitting. So for this particular piece here, I know I'm going to need one of these on one end and another one on the other end. So you take your, um, your connector. I use a piece of uh, timber just to protect the uh, edges of the aluminium so it doesn't get damaged. And using a soft faced hammer, this is a hide hammer on one side and copper on the other. I use the hide side and just gently tap it into place. Once it's in there, it's very, very tight. It's not going to come out. And once you've got all your components built together, then it essentially becomes locked in place. So it's a very, very good system. It's lightweight, it's strong. Up to about 600 millimeters, it will take quite a lot of weight. Once you get over that, it will start to sag. So you've got to construct it in small cubes, if you will. Um, that way it becomes a very, very strong, rigid structure. Um, I really like the versatility of this product. And the fact that it's lightweight um, and very strong is a, is a massive bonus for me because uh, weight is an issue, as you're aware. I'm trying to keep the weight of this camper down. And um, an assembly, I can assemble a piece of furniture in, in about, once I've cut all the materials, in, in less than an hour, I can assemble the main framework. So I've already made a start on assembling the uh, furniture inside. So what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll put together a photo slideshow of the, um, of the build process. I worked from a, a drawing. The drawing was basically an isometric drawing with no di dimensions on there but just to give a general layout so I knew where everything was going to go. I knew how many pieces I needed and then what I did is I started working out the lengths and then adding the lengths to the drawing as I went so that what I en ended up with in the end was, uh, was a, a really good um, <clears throat> idea of what quantity of materials I needed. Now I have actually run out of materials and the supplier I bought the aluminium tube from, they're not back until the uh, 8th of January so um, the job is effectively now coming to a, a close for the time being but 
As you'll see from the slideshow, I've made significant progress in assembling the furniture framework and uh, I'm going to make a start now on fixing it in place. So please enjoy the slideshow and uh, as always, share this video and um, like this video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and click the little bell icon down here so that you get the notifications every time I upload a new video. And as always, please comment below. Thank you guys, Mike signing off.